Hello and welcome to part 5 of Autodesk Alias Design from the beginning. Let's look at go through these three exercises here. So I'm going to go to File and Open. And Exercise 1 is the How to Use Canvas Planes. So I want to go through this really quickly. So the first thing that you're going to do is by using the canvas planes, they're, they're created using bookmark views. So if we go to Shift and Alt, you'll see this over here. It doesn't exactly match up. This is a new interface for 2010. You'll notice that we have our bookmarks here, page 2. Now, my zooming um, for your information is um, not zoomed in correctly every time I come in because of the resolution I'm using after recording. Yours should work for the most part pretty consistently. So there's a couple different ways to navigate through your canvas planes. One way is through our sidebar here and I can go page one page 2, etc. Or, if you'll notice, and again, I'm holding Shift and Alt to get that dialog up. If you, hold, you can also do Page Down or Page Up also. Now, let's go right to Page 6. And if you're page up or page down is not working correctly, what you can do is we'll go to Preferences, Interface, Hotkeys, and you're going to go to Bookmarks. And here is where you're going to make sure that everything is set up properly. On our Bookmark Actions, you'll see we have page up and page down. So if yours aren't working correctly, you'll want to go in there. While you're in here, let's look at Menu and Layouts. You'll notice back in one of our other sections, we talked about being able to switch between views. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this F7 here and I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to make F7 my front view. And I'm going to make F6 my right view. That way it corresponds to what I have on the screen. So now, if I hit F5, I'll go to top, F6 is right, F7 is front, and then if we go to F8, we'll get our perspective view. Okay, so holding Shift and Alt, we're going to go back to page 3. Now, let's look at zooming a little bit more. You can change um, your view. So I'm holding Shift and Alt, and I'm zooming up on that. And also Shift and Alt again, and I'm zooming up onto this area in the screen. So let's do a page down and to the next page. And we went through... Um, where to access our bookmarks. All, and there's another way under Windows, Bookmark Lister. We can manually flip through them this way. Now, what we're doing is we're setting the stage up for you guys to start doing exercises and projects. Also notice we have a layer bar here. And our pages, if I turn that off, notice our pages aren't any vis are no longer visible. And then you'll also have one that's reference geometry. It's reference for you to look at how maybe a finished product might look or something um, just references you're going through your exercises. Um, a layer can be set to under state, pickable, reference, or inactive. 
and this puts it kind of into, as they say here, a background state. Um, so give that a try. Turn You can turn the pages off fairly easily. And let's move on to the next slide. Um, we looked at the setting the page up and page down. Um, this is really cool. You have full screen mode. I'm not going to go into full screen mode. But under your layouts, you can design in full screen. And it is a, um, very good to you, uh, use for certain things. Um, once you, we start using marking menus and such, uh, we can turn off all of the menus and use hotkeys to turn on palettes and shelves and marking menus. And just have the full screen at our liberty to use. So part six, what we're going to cover is the next exercise. I uh, look forward to seeing you in that se section.